Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max of a beautiful 2009 Chevy Avalanche Z71 package, two-wheel drive. White on the outside with light gray leather interior with only 35,000 original miles. All original, has a clean title and a clean Carfax. You can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. No paint work in this unit. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1982 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, the C71 package comes with the 18-inch uh, uh, rugged terrain uh, wheels. Okay, it's got uh, Bridgestone Dwellers, all-terrain. Got the color-coded big fender flares. And the heavy-duty about, these are like 5-inch with uh, step bars and mud guards. It also has the uh, roof rack with the crossbars and uh, EGR uh, vents on the side. These are like rain vents or wind vents that go on uh, both sides. There's one on each door, of course. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no scratches or touches of any kind. And the car is in perfect, perfect condition. Never, ever used for work. Whoever had this car really, truly babied it. The Bridgestone tires are matching and they're all in really good shape. They're not new, but they definitely do not need to be replaced. We're going to continue going around and we'll get in the inside and get it started, show you the interior options. It has the Class 3 heavy duty tow and package with the electrical connection there on the side ready to go. Got parking sensors in the rear bumper, there's two on each side. These are the ones that um, beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Spare tires never even been on the ground, as you can tell there. Have a, uh, it has a three-piece rigid tunnel cover. Uh, these three pieces are removable, independent of each other, and it's lockable. What I mean by that is the following. Once the car is locked, there is a power lock actuator here, so you cannot access the rear, meaning you can put valuables in there without having to worry about it. When you unlock here, you can access back here. Okay. There's also lockable storage bins on the, on the side here. These are not power lock actuated. You have to actually put your key in here to lock it and unlock it. Right now it is unlocked. They're rather deep pockets and there's one on each side. These you have to stick the key in it to get it unlocked or unlocked. Okay, uh, let's continue going around. We'll get it started. It also has the uh, remote starting option which I'll demonstrate for you in a minute. That remote starting option is a really neat option, especially in the winter when it's nice and cold outside. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the vehicle comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. Same thing in the winter. As long as when you left the vehicle, you had the air conditioning on, when the car comes on, so will the AC, and it will cool down the car for you. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how that works. The car has to be locked. We're locking it here, and then you press a little circle there and hold. And the car comes right on. Once you're ready to drive off, all you've got to do is come to the vehicle, unlock it with your remote, open the door, stick the key in the ignition, and open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and you want to go ahead and turn it off because you're not going to leave at the moment, just come back here and press again, and the car turns off. Not only do we have the, um, the rain guards or vent guards, but we also have a uh, bug uh, deflector. Nice looking grill, great shape. Silver two-tone bottom on the bumper. And fog lights also down there, as well as front tow hooks. Okay, let's get inside of the car and get it started. Again, it's a C71 two-wheel drive package. The interior uh, panels are what we call uh, light titanium, dark titanium. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, automatic headlights, driver side power seat with manual recliner and manual lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area so you can see it's in great shape. 
we're shooting this video in the afternoon. It's kind of a, uh, a overcast day. So you see some, these are what you're seeing there. Let me switch hands. You're seeing shadows. I'm sure you see my hand moving. Look in the background there. I don't want you to think you're seeing stains or stress marks. It's just uh, the sun is uh, the sun is not out, and we're inside of a building, so you're getting we're getting more shadow than usual. Okay, let me go ahead and get inside, get it started for you. <clears throat> okay, let's get the AC going first and foremost. I will put it not too high so you can hear me talk. As you can see, this vehicle is equipped with a dual climate control. I've got the driver's side right now at 66 degrees and the passenger side at 61, meaning from this middle to the side, 60, it'll blow 61 degrees. From this side to this side, it'll blow 66 degrees. Let's go ahead and get the windows open so we can get a little better lighting for the video. There, at least the driver's side is one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch. I think the passenger is also one touch, yes. The rear ones, you do have to hold the switch. Um, okay, uh, let's start off by looking at the odometer here. The car has 35,282 miles. To the right of that, you'll see there's a digital display for a compass. that lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction. And also a temperature readout that lets us know it's 78 degrees outside. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the left-hand dial. I'm going to rev the engine. 5.3 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just solely so you can see that the car is running and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine soon, no maintenance zoo, nothing like that. And the engine is idling perfectly. Okay. Automatic shifting transmission with manual shifting mode. And let's go ahead and demonstrate to you what that means. You see the plus and minus there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold the camera with my left hand and shift with the right. we put it in reverse. Okay neutral and then drive and that's how you're going to drive it 99 percent of the time but if you want to put a little sport into it and make it shift manually you go one more notch down and you see the one comes on next to the m it means we're in first gear and you can tap on the plus to make it shift up as you can see it's going up all the way to six speeds it's a six speed automatic transmission automatic and with manual shifting mode and when you tap on the minus it'll shift down if that does not interest you, all you got to do is push the lever to D and the 6-speed automatic transmission will shift on its own. I'm going to put it in park. I want you to keep an eye on the left-hand side uh, on the uh, tachometer. You're going to see a little yellow wagon come on. And that's a towing haul mode, which makes the transmission shift a little differently to adjust for the extra cargo load when you're towing something and also it disables the overdrive so it doesn't keep coming in and out and burn out the transmission when you're towing something heavy. And that button is located here at the end. So when I press it one more time, you're gonna see the wagon's gonna go away. Okay, and let's go ahead and leave it there. Go ahead and uh, have a look at the stereo. Now you can raise the music right from here also. You can lower it here and you can mute it here. Okay? And of course you can use your regular volume control here. Okay? Make it all the way down. Okay, um uh, this vehicle is equipped with XM stereo capability. Right now it's on preview mode because you have to sign up for the subscription. The band button makes you move from XM to AM to FM. Okay? Uh, you also have the auxiliary mode which is your iPod uh, inputted there. So once you connect your iPod there, you press the uh, auxiliary, which is right here, and you can listen to your iPod music right in your stereo sound system. Over here is the remote stereo controls. I already shown you these are the volume controls back here, plus and minus. This is to navigate about your preset stations. What does that mean? These ones here that you designate yourself, okay? Uh, this here is to seek the next available station. And um, uh, also you got your, your Bluetooth control right here. And here your source button is the same thing as your band button. It makes you move from AM to FM to XM and, auxil and auxiliary also. Cruise control is on the right hand side. And uh, we have a leather wrap string wheel. And let's go on ahead and pan around that nice and slow. 
So you can see it's in perfect shape without any burn holes, cuts, tears, discoloration. It's not sagging anywhere, not missing any color. Really, really nice. I mean, the car does show it's got 35,000 miles. And it's in great shape. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the dashboard here. If you're shopping around for a Tahoe, Avalanche, or Suburban, you should be on the lookout for the uh, dash. In the Florida heat, the dash sometimes cracks, especially in this area back here. But mo most prominently in this little curve right here around the side of the airbag, that's where they mostly all crack. Okay, and also the back one cracks as well, not just the front one. Uh, so when you're looking for one of these, be on the lookout for that because that's very common for it to happen. And it's not too cheap to replace, especially the rear, this one here, the one that has the bubble. The front piece is a little easier to do. Okay, uh, we've got current side airbags here on the front post, the middle post, and there's another one on the rear post that I cannot access from here, which I'll show you later. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system. Okay, um, as long as you subscribe to it, when if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know that you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a number to call. You call the number, identify yourself, once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. There's also the emergency red button there. You press that button and uh, they'll, you'll contact the OnStar Center and they'll assist you with whatever emergency you may have. Also, if you press the blue OnStar button, you can get turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions uh, if you happen to be lost, you know, so you, until you arrive at your destination. Up here we got the home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three gates or garage doors, map lights, and uh, vanity mirrors with lighting on both sides of course. Um, here we have um, power adjustable pedals. This is a neat feature especially if you had a very tall driver or short driver which allows the pedals to move toward you and away from you about four or five inches which comes in real handy when you got somebody that cannot reach the pedals or is actually maybe too tall and would like the pedals a little further away from him or her. Uh, you got cigarette lighter adapters on both sides so you can power up your cigarette lighter or your chargers. In the center here you get cup holders and a large tray here. These cup holders are actually removable which is neat because uh, in case you want to use put something larger on there or you want to clean up a spilled coffee or spilled soda or something like that makes it easier for you to take this out and this is all like rubber in here so it's nice and easy to clean okay and the uh, center console here where you rest your elbow there's like a pad uh, here where you can put your like your cell phone number your cell phone or pens and stuff like that which has a rubber little mat that may keeps it from sliding too much uh, and there's also storage underneath it and another cigarette lighter adapter over there which I cannot reach has the same function as these two up here. Okay, I uh, think I might be ready to move on. Your main glove box is over there, which I can't reach from here, but I'll show you later. Uh, and we've got tweeters here on both front posts for your stereo sound system. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to move to the back. I think I've covered everything up here. If I have not, feel free to call me uh, at 305-218-5462, and I can go over all that stuff with you. Okay, let's move on to the uh, rear passenger area. This is a five passenger, two in the front and three in the middle, and they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that one right there. For the, uh, in the back of the center console, we have AC vents for the rear row passenger, as well as um, stereo controls up here and headphone jacks. Uh, another cigarette light adapter to power up uh, your chargers back here and cup holders. That pop out of the back of the center console. Got the factory floor mats. The door panels are the same as in the front. Uh, light titanium, dark titanium, which is light gray and medium gray. And um, with a uh, silver accent here and a chrome door handle. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. You stick your key in here and twist it to the left. What that does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you got small kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the outside, once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers and bigger kids, just do the opposite. 
Take your can there or a screwdriver, twist it to the right, and that enables this inside door handle again. Um, the rear glass uh, as well as our rear window defroster, and it's also removable. There's latches up here to uh, you, you can remove it. And actually, I think the space in the back here where you can store it in the back of the seat. These seats will also lift up and to go into like cargo mode, and you can flip this down, and uh, so you can put boxes and stuff like that if you do need it. As you can see, it does it on both sides. This is what we call a 60-40 seat. 60% is on this side, 40% on that side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you about these pockets. Now, these are the ones you lock when you stick your key in here. Okay. And now, once you do that, you can't push in and open it. Just going to go ahead and leave it open. And now you can. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. The rear bumper is uh, free of any dents or touch-ups or scratches. The emblems are nice and clean. Again, remember these, uh, let's go ahead and look at here so I can show you how these things open. They have a handle underneath here. Pull the handle toward you and that releases it and then you can just pull this panel out. Okay? And to lock them you just do the opposite. There's three panels and they're all removable and they're numbered also. The number one panel is the one closest to the glass, number two in the middle, number three to uh, here. And you, like as I said, they're independent of each other. So if you need to remove only this one, you can leave those on there. And again, you can take these off and put them in your garage or whatever if you're not using them. Um, right rear tail light, perfect shape, no damage, nothing. Okay, let's pop in here. Here's the, your other storage pocket and here's all your tools. Uh, so you can change your spare tire if you happen to have a flat. Okay, let's go ahead and open the right rear door panel. Then the front that will conclude this video. Sure, by now you notice that the door panels are in perfect shape. They're not burned. They have no burn holes, no cuts, no tears, no, no stains. None of the speaker covers are cracked. Below this cover is your uh, jack. You just have these um, this two wing nuts here. You turn them to the left and uh, they'll release. Again, this seat also uh, lifts up just like the other side. Okay. All right, let's come up here to the front, have a look over here, and then we'll uh, talk a little bit about financing. All right, front door panel, perfect shape. And uh, not only do we have power seat on the driver's side, but also on the passenger side, manual lumbar and manual recliner. And here is our, um, uh, all the owner's manuals that you need with all the supplemental booklets, and I just dropped that. This is your XM uh, package here talks about the options and how to use it probably. Uh, let's go ahead and close that up here. Okay, now let's talk about financing for just a minute. If we require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not just good credit. We even have some programs for really rough, uh, rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing, or you just want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the homepage is a clickable link uh, that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.